HERP, Wikipedia article audio. HERP, also known as a wade, woward, wharf, wharfeet, wharf, wart, or vier feet, is an artificial dwelling mound found on the North European plain that has been created to provide safe ground during storm surges, high tides, and sea or river flooding. The various terms used reflect the regional dialects of the North European region. In English sources, terp appears to be by far the most common term used. These mounds occur in the coastal parts of the Netherlands, in southern parts of Denmark and in Germany where, before dikes were made, floodwater interfered with daily life. They also occur in the Rhine and Meuse river plains in the central part of the Netherlands. In Friesland Weyden in the province of Groningen In the Dutch province of Friesland, an artificial dwelling hill is called Terp. Terp means village in Old Frisian and is cognate with English Thorpe, Danish Torp, German Dorf, modern West Frisian Doarp and Dutch Dorp. Historical Frisian settlements were built on artificial turpin up to 15 meters high to be safe from the floods and periods of rising sea levels. The first turp building period dates to 500 BC, the second from 200 BC to 50 BC. In the mid 3rd century, the rise of sea level was so dramatic that the clay district was deserted, and settlers returned only around AD 400. A third turp building period dates from AD 700. This ended with the coming of the dike somewhere around 1200. During the 18th and 19th centuries, many turps were destroyed to use the fertile soil they contained to fertilize farm fields. Turpin were usually well fertilized by the decay of the rubbish and personal waste deposited by their inhabitants during centuries. In the Dutch province of Groningen an artificial dwelling mound is referred to as Wade. As in Friesland, the first Wade was built around 500 BC or maybe earlier. Place names in the Frisian coastal region ending in WERD, Ward, Yerd etc. refer to the fact that the village was built on an artificial dwelling mound. The greater part of the Terp villages, though, have names ending in um, from heme or heme, meaning yard, grounds. There are a few village names in Friesland ending with terp, referring not to a dwelling mound but merely to the old Frisian word for village. The first element of the toponyms is quite often a person's name or is simply describing the environmental features of the settlement Riazuer, weighed with reed, where reed grows. Some 1,200 turpin are recorded in Groningen and Friesland alone. They range from abandoned settlements to mounds with only one or a few farmhouses, to larger villages and old towns. A few of them are listed below. List of artificial dwelling mounds Friesland Groningen Northern Germany